All right, so we fed the puppies lunch, um, went ahead and made their charts with their weights, you know, divided the weights to get the exact number of deworming we're supposed to do with the two, got it all charted, and went ahead and did today's first dose. So that is good. So now we are going to show you my plants and let you know kind of what got me started. Um, I don't really know what got me started, but I do know like Toby's got me orchids. Like I'm a, hi. like I'm totally against flowers, you know, like, like for Toby to buy me flowers, like expensive ones, because what do they do? They die. You know, you get them and then they look good for a week and then they're dying. So, and then they get thrown away. Um, so what I wanted to do was, well, let's not even get started there. So what all started is Toby's dad's funeral. So my father-in-law, we were able to get some arrangements cause there was so much from his funeral and like peace lilies. Um, here is one. Let's talk about it. And I actually, I wish I would have started all of this from the beginning. Now, it's been a while, but um, this was a very, very overgrown. There was all different kinds of stuff in here, viney, um, a bunch, just a bunch of different stuff. And Toby has taken care of it, and it's been in our bedroom. Um, and of course, when in the mornings we open the windows and move it around as the light is, which now that I'm getting to know about plants, they don't have to have that much light. Um, even if you can like read a book in a room without your light on, you know, that's pretty good. So, you know, this is an easy plant to take care of, but like you see, we've got some, you know, pretty bad ends and stuff. This was before I started <laughs> my research and taking care of it. But so as Toby was taking care of, care of this, um, plant along with some up at the house that was getting like no help at all, but like once every couple weeks, a little bit of water. Um, I'm like, let me start doing some research on how to take care of stuff. So we saw a plant at one of our stores, um, like 10 minutes from our house. And it was this beautiful, let me grab it. This beautiful green, um, and I'll get a small one so you can see it. Beautiful green, um, rubbery feeling <laughs> thing. Here is one of the cuttings that I took off of it and it's rooted and grown like four times the size. But, and I shouldn't have done a single one, but this was in the very beginning. But um, I just, I loved it. I thought it felt so good. So I made me a little cart. Toby had gotten me an orchid. So like I made this little cart and every day I'd take everything out and put it in the sun. Well, <laughs> I don't know if like one morning I took it out and it was still like 40 degrees outside. And, um, and everything like the next day was mushy, mushy and fallen down. And I was like, I killed it. Like I'm, I've always killed these orchids, <laughs> like all this stuff. So I had like, I did tons of research, YouTube about taking care of these things. And I just left this one alone. I'm like, you know what? I'm leaving it alone. Um, Hopefully it'll come back. It did like, but every leaf that got, so this is a succulent plant. So of course you can't overwater. Well, you're not supposed to overwater cause it can kill it. So you're not supposed to, you can overwater it, but it's not good for it. And, um, but anyway, so all the leaves that were like mushy that w died, I could see little new leaves coming out of the bottom and I'm like, so maybe, so I just left those kind of to help, you know, root them in. And then as those leaves would start to dry out, I would like pluck them off and new ones grew. It was crazy. Like I couldn't even believe that I, <laughs> I brought it back. Um, but and even look, it's got blooms on it. Um, and you, there's blooms going to be all over them. Now they do say that they normally don't bloom inside unless they get natural light. Um, and we do have a spot where it gets natural light throughout the, um, throughout the day. So this one is now kind of like one of my favorites just because it kind of helped me learn everything. So let's put that one down. Oh, and also here's another 
cutting, which again, I'm learning as I'm doing it. So I took five cuttings from it and put them in there. Now I spread it, I spreaded them out like one in the center and four alongs the sides. And now I know that I should had put them all in the center to like make one plump, but I'm learning. So this was another one though, but success, success for that. Um, but let's get back to, as I put these up, let's get back to Toby's dad's plants. So, you know, it's like, I don't want to be living, not be living, and we don't really need anything to remind us of him, but because we remember him every day, like every day. So, and we miss him. But anyways, so this is just one of the things when I look at it and I tell Toby, like, how's your dad's plant? You know, or I don't know. It's, you know, it's just, it, just the reason why anybody would keep it. It's just a nice something. So there was this one. Um, I took a bunch of different stuff out. Like if you look here, and I don't know if they're going to make it, if you look at all these little things, they had tons of really long vines with, um, leaves on the end of it and let me get some of the cuttings so but it was like out to here of nothing and then leaves so i'm like well we can't you have to cut out the center like we couldn't just like leave it so i cut it short hoping that these would grow some back out later um i mean we'll just see i was gonna leave it you know and we'll see and i do there are some like you know, it, this looks really good, <laughs> really good compared to when I started. So we're happy with this one. Um, and of course these, it's going to need to be water the next day or so you can see it's starting to droop, but it's pretty happy. So that's good. Let me show you though, the roots that were coming off of that, um, kind of some stuff that I did. Now I did also go, oh, let me get the ones already rooted that I've planted. Okay. So let's talk about this one in a minute because I'm not super sure about that one. And there's water in it because I watered it. Um, okay, so here's one. It was, I think, three or four different cuttings. And we, they had a little bit of, no, they didn't have roots because I cut them from the vines. Cut the vines a little bit shorter but made sure there were some nodes, which nodes are, let me get closer. If you can see those little things that are sticking out. Come on, focus. There we go. These little things that are sticking out, those are nodes. Those will grow roots if they're up against moisture or in soil or in water. And, um, or they also are what vines stick to when it grows. So like if we were to put this and push it up against something, as it grows, it would stick onto it and keep going. So I just, I love the viney green, with some color to it. I don't know, I asked Toby, I don't know what's happening to this one. I hope it doesn't die. The roots look good though, but I don't know what's happening to that one. It's gonna either be that like that one's not making it, that leaf, or it could be it got either too much water at some point. So we'll see. Um, but this is this one's really good. I'm super excited to watch this one grow because we're gonna have a bunch of vines hanging. And then here are a couple different ones too. And same thing with this one. I think they're fine. You know, old, older leaves when they go through stress, cause like since even I planted this one, there's this new one sticking up right there. That's a new leaf coming in. So they're doing really well. I'm happy with them. I wish I would have started in the beginning video and oh, this one too, that's a new one. But um, I wish I would have started in the beginning and was videoing like repot, like breaking it down, repotting, um, all kinds of stuff. Cause this is like nothing, but these were like free ones that we already had. Not the one, not the first one we talked about that Toby got me, but all of these. This is another, there's water coming out. I'll clean that up in a second. But this one is another one that I really liked. Now when it was in here, all of these were drooping and falling down. It's kind of a hard way to see it. We're drooping and falling down. So what I did is I st stuck them in the soil, you know, kept it, you know, pretty wet for a few days. And then I also 
took like a rubber band and did like this and tied them up. So, and put them under a grow light. So as, well, all of these have been under grow lights, but as they were, um, so these already had roots. These did not, these three, you can't see them, but the ones we already talked about, didn't have roots because we cut them off of the vines. So I had to stick those in water and grow vines, and I'll show you in a minute because I have some more going to grow roots off of them to be able to place them in here. So we'll, but I'll show you some, but like I said, I wish I would have videoed from start to finish just because this is pretty cool. Like it's fa very fascinating and it's kind of like getting me to multiply and I want more and more and more. But again, here's another one. It's almost like a zebra, oh, I'm spilling all kinds of water. Um, all kinds of like zebra printed. Now, I can't tell if some of these are gonna die. This one for sure is probably gonna end up dying. These that are kind of just hanging this way, I think that they're fine because they were like that. Maybe not these ones rolled up. I don't know. They just, in this pot, the first pot that we had of, of Toby's dad's from his funeral, but all of the, they were hanging over. Like they weren't even standing up. So we'll see how they do. So I'll keep you up on that one. So let me get these put back under because I still actually have these under grow light, some of my shelves. So let me get them put back really quick and then get some of my viney plants. I don't know the names to all of these, but I'll try to find them and post them as we're talking about them. But let me get some of the viney plants so we can talk about those once I get these put up and get this water cleaned up. I'll be back. Okay, so let's start with these. I actually just got this one yesterday um, at Home Depot and it was super cute. Um, it looks like you can see the leaves on it. It is a vine. It looks like the watermelon peperomia, I think it's called vine, but the watermelon vine. Some, let me find, I'll tag it up top, but, um, I do like this one. It was super underwatered when I got it. Like if you did this, like some of the leaves would just fall off. So I actually did take a few cuttings from it. I'm going to see if I can make some more if I can, then as they grow, I'm definitely gonna make more because it's super cute. So there's that one. And then these were some of my first ones too. It's called silver something again, I'll tag it. Now these were super small when I got them. And of course they kind of grew, I think I might've planted them in these like repotted them too fast because now they've kind of, they've not grown as much, but they still have grown some. Like this is my thing. I like thin, stringy, hangy <laughs> things like this. Like that when I first got it, it was like in this little pot like this with just like a few on top. So you see, it's definitely done what I've wanted. Like all these hanging things. Um, but it is kind of scraggly up top, but I love it. Um, my, and my reason for getting this one is because I felt like it looked like a, the color of eucalyptus. Well, like the, eucaly the fake eucalyptus that's got that like powdery look to it, um, but viney. So that's why I got these. And I'm gonna put these back as we're talking about them. Um, okay, and then the, the one that I told you that like, I killed the first one. Um, then I found this and it's the same. It's just not like the variegated color where there's like multicolor in it. It's just dark green. And I thought, why not? We'll get that too. I didn't know if it had actually, didn't know if it would have the same bloom. Um, ooh, I should be getting one on this one. So we'll see. We'll sh we should see what color bloom that one would do. And I probably could look it up. I just haven't. Um, so again, these rubbery, like that one is that rubbery feeling since it's a succulent. These are the same thing. I will say they're not my favorite. I do like the way that they look, but it makes the petals or leaves, it, the leaves, it makes them, it makes them feel like petals and like, uh, like they fall off easy if they're not happy. Um, so like, I like, <laughs> I like to touch my plants, you know, like, I don't know why, like, don't do it, but I do it. <laughs> um, so I don't know, but like, I want to touch it, but you can't touch these too much because the petals or the leaves, the leaves will fall off like petals. So 
This one too had grown in just a couple weeks. It was the same thing as those other ones, just a little tiny one with a few and they actually just looked like a bunch of little hearts. It's exploded. I do have this under a grow light too, just because it is in the succulent family and they gotta have quite a bit of light. This one, same thing. Um, yeah, same thing. And if you look at like these little bud parts, um, which something crazy after I had it for about a week, it's got like bud parts on all of them. Once I had it for after a week, this, I seen that the, the buds were starting to open one of them and within like two hours it opened. Like I felt like I could sit there and watch it open so fast. And then when it, within another hour, it closed up and died. Like, I'm like, what the heck? So, and I do, when the other side did it like a week later, it stayed open for about a day and then did the same thing, closed up. So I don't know what, if it's this plant or if it's like being in my environment or whatever, but I do like it. Again, it's just stringy, you know, it doesn't fall down, it goes up. Now it will start drooping if it needs water. Um, but I've been really happy with this because it's been, it's been easy but it still is very, I want something that's hardy, you know, something that's hardy, not that like you can't touch it. Which this one is kind of cute. I like, well, this is the like, the look that I like. Um, dark roots, you know, dark petals, hangy. Same thing about, I got it when it was small. I just got a bunch of little small things. Um, but again, I do think I might've repotted it too quickly. Um, and put it in one too big because then I think it, it did stop growing a little, but we're getting there. It's, it's doing it again, but like you see, which is fine because think, you know, they're not all going to live, but I get super sad <laughs> when there's little <laughs> leaves in there, but it's happy. It's pretty good. All right. Oh, I got some in the living room, um, that I really like. And obviously in there in the living room, I want them on display. So let me go grab those real quick. Okay, let's sit down. This is kind of a lot of talked about. Okay, so here is one, a creeping Jenny, obviously, which loves to live outside. Sometimes it's very talkative to where if it needs water, it'll tell you, like it's, it'll start looking droopy or flat on top. You water it, bam, it, it stands up like super fast. So I've got this in the living room. It doesn't get a whole lot of light, so, I don't know if it's bad for it or if it's doing good, but it's been doing good for me, is after I water it, it's usually like once a week, I stick it under a grow light until it dries. I don't know if it does anything, but that's just what I like. Here's another one that I have gotten. When I first had gotten this one, um, I didn't know, I got this at Lowe's. I didn't know much about it, but I thought, okay, that's you know, pretty cute, whatever. It did have moss all under here, but I ended up ripping that out because I was going to be, I didn't know if it needed to be repotted. So the way that I've seen, like to try to learn how, if I need to repot or not, this is one of the hardest ones to get out, um, is to look at the bottom here. As long as it doesn't look too bad up top and you look under here and there's not roots coming out of the bottom, then you're probably fine. As long as the soil is dry, which this is not, so I'm not going to trust it. I don't want to mess it up but you can like squeeze around this a little and then pull up and when it comes out, you wanna make sure it's not root bound. Root bound is when and a lady that I watch on YouTube, she says that if roots are wrapped one time around the soil, then you're fine. But if it's wrapped two or three, it needs to be repotted in something bigger. She also says that she, if the soil looks fine in there, she doesn't have to break all that up and get the roots loose. She just puts it just like that in a little bit bigger pot and fills up around it with the new soil. So that's what I've been doing and it's been pretty good, but I've only been at this for like six weeks. So um, not long term yet, but you know, we're, we're getting there and I've, I'm watching tons of YouTube videos all the time. So w one lady that I like is um, Amanda from Plant Arena. You'll have to look her up. She's pretty good. I've learned a lot from her, but anyways, this one, like I said, it had tons, like how you see this one's kind of droopy. Almost all the bottom ones were like that. So I asked the lady at Lowe's, I said, will those stand up when it gets watered? And she said, no, they're supposed to be like that. 
I came home and watered it because it was so dry. <laughs> they all stood up and it, it needs to be probably watered and I watered about four days ago. And when you've got smaller pots, they need to be watered more often, but um, they all stood up. So that's in pretty good shape. There's, when you buy these plants and if they are dry, they're gonna have even like this leaf and it's got some damage on it. That's not from me. It was like that when I got it, just from traveling, I guess, back and forth from wherever and being pinched up against that. But it's, they're not all perfect. So one of my favorite, look at this thing. It was probably half of this size, like a week and a half ago. I was wanting to get some eucalyptus. Um, so I found one of our, um, a store that was pretty close to home um, and went there. When I saw this one, I'm like, I've got to have it. So it's, you know, you see like all the lines and stuff and I think that's called variegated. But one of my favorite parts is this one. You see how, how much white is in that? I just, I like that. So I'm hoping once that one grows, we can actually propagate. We can go from that one and we should, should be able to get more. It's kind of like in the business with the breeding dogs. Um, I think this needs to be water pretty soon. Um, with the breeding dogs, when you, like if I'm trying to get tuxedos, and of course you pretty much have to have the party gene most of the time. You don't have to, but um, to most of them you do. For my, for my lines you do. To have the party gene. And then, um, yeah, it needs to be watered. So, um, so it's the same thing with your plants. If you want, and I'll show you in a minute, like one of our, um, the name's one blank. When I get it, I'll tell you about it, about the holes in the plant. Um, you need to actually take cuttings from those and you'll grow more. So it's kind of, it's kind of like genetics, just taking parts of it that you want more of. Um, I'm hoping it's the same thing. I don't know about that, but since that one has so much white, I'm hoping it's the same way with that. So. We will see, but tell me this thing is not just gorgeous. All right, next. Um, okay, so this one is called Baby Tears. And look at this. So I bought this pot and I thought, okay, I'll get some type of plant and like cut it to the shape of it. I thought it looked like a tuxedo. Well then this one already had, like you can't hold these up, but it was so funny because when I stuck it in there, there was already like two ears from it. I don't know if you can see it, very good. But it was like two ears coming from it. Is that not the cutest thing? But that's baby tears and it's grown really good. Like it was, again, it was like a half a size pot smaller than this with just the toppings. Like it wasn't even started to grow yet. Um, this one I kind of want to talk about, but it's had some issues. This one is a variety of creeping Jenny and I love it and it's actually hard to find I think um, but I had gotten this one first to go in our living room and I don't know if it was too dark in there or what or how what was going on but we actually had some mold starting to grow on top of the soil so I had to go through I think it's my, maybe there wasn't enough air circulation or maybe there it was just staying too wet because after I'd water it um, it's, there's not a lot of sun in there, so it doesn't get really warm. So I ended up just bringing it and putting it under our grow light. And it's after I've done the um, water and peroxide solution, spraying it each day, we've not had that anymore. So, but isn't she pretty? So I have taken some cuttings from her too when she started like getting the mold. And then when I started spraying with peroxide and trying to keep it off of the leaves, some of the leaves were dying. So I was kind of nervous and I'm really bad at like wanting to see these leaves that have spots on them. Like I want to take that off super bad. I hate it, <laughs> but I've got to keep telling myself is plants are not perfect. And one of the things I have too, is when I go to places and want to like go to like the discount discounted spot, because ones that are in super bad shape, I want to get those to make them look better. It's kind of weird that I, that, like I'm such a, like I want things like the same and like this, for instance, if like we had a short one, 
like I want it to be symmetrical. <laughs> Does that make sense? So if we have one that ended up growing really, really long, I'd have to cut it to the other. It's just, I don't know. I'm weird like that, but isn't it cute? So it's just under the grow light right now, but I'm hoping I'll get a lot of cuttings from these. And this one actually went propagated super fast, um, which I was happy with. The roots came super quick. And I'll, again, I'll show you our propagation area shortly. But aren't they cute? Okay, let me go put these up and I'll grab something else. Okay, so this is my other one in our living room that's under one of our cabinets. And I had these black rocks because I thought I was going to use them for um, orchids that I've learned that I really can't. As soon as I got orchids, I always was like, oh my goodness, look at the roots. I need to repot it. And then they would die. So I used these. And now that I see them, there's a bunch of dust and dog hair on them. But um, I thought this was pretty cool because it's the air plants or live plants, whatever they're called. But you only spray them with water um, once a week. And they look really good. We've had these a long time too. But there's just a couple in there. But I thought that was pretty cute. Just something springy. All right. And here's two more things as well. So the first thing that we talked about was my father-in-law's arrangement this it had these in the center and it's definitely been one of my favorites so i just got more but i really like them dave does too because he tried to i had it on a metal shelf and he tried to chew the leaves <laughs> so see there's david's writing with his teeth uh, and then this was another one i just i like multiple colors you know greenery i just like green and not more dark than light, but if it's got light in it, then I like it too. But I thought these are pretty cute. They've grown a lot since I've had them. And then I'll show you, I'll take the camera to a spot in our bathroom that I've got set up in there. But it was the first, it was a hanging basket that I had gotten that it's, I took the hanging part off, but it had these in them. Oh my gosh, tell me they're so cute. Super cute. Um, and another thing, I just I like hardy leaves, and these feel like a leather, like a like a dried leather, um, which means too that I think that they can kind of withhold either too much care or not enough care. Um, and that's kind of what I'm going for. It's, I I am dealing with the plants every day and learning them and touching them and seeing how they look and feeling the soil and. I've definitely learned a lot from this whole process over the past six weeks. Um, but as, as we learn, you know, it's practice. Practice makes perfect. So as these grow, again, nodes, like this could be a, a climber if I wanted. Here's a node popping out that's pretty big. Can you see it where my finger's at? So that is also what would like I said, grab onto the wall or whatever you put it on. Of course, it has to sit there a little while um, or it would grow roots from it. So I've done some cuttings from this one just because we had some long pieces and I wanted it to be symmetrical. And um, from my long one, I did some cuttings today and I'm gonna show you that in the bathroom um, too. But this is actually one of my favorite, I think, so far. And now another... Um, Here's a piece of lily that I just repotted. I got it about a month ago and it had like three more of these piece of lily parts, whatever, they, whatever it is. And um, they actually, they were very big and mature and got big and started turning color. So I cut it off because I didn't want them. But it still has five in there for this little size. I think it's fantastic. So I did repot it just because I felt like it was in too small of a pot, but not much bigger, but it's looking really good. And another reason why I got another piece lily, which is super toxic to dogs, so you have to be careful, um, was because of my father-in-law's first arrangement. It had piece lilies in it too, so but I thought it was super cute. All right, so let's talk about just a few more. So this is the Chinese money tree this is the back of it so you can see like the roots and the stuff which is super cool and these actually will be viney too once it gets big enough i like it just sitting straight up and um i don't know how if you can propagate these 
I think it's from babies that come out of the soil. So I need to, I need to look into that, which I don't want to mess with this one yet because it looked pretty rough when I got it, but look at it now and it's growing and in probably a month it'll be double the size. Um, but super cute. Um, here's another, this is a watermelon. It's almost like the viney one that I showed you. One of the first ones, like the watermelon. Uh, something I'll put the words at the top but it looks like it's doing all right it was actually in bad shape too it was another one that I asked the lady would and it might need to be watered in a day or two um, it just doesn't look very good but like this one was old and laying down there a lot of these I had to, to sit up, but like you see this one. Ugh, like me and my OCD, like I wanna cut it off because it's not perfect. But I have to keep telling myself they're not all perfect, they're plants. Um, so, but they're really pretty. But I don't know what's going on with that one. It's almost like water was sitting in it or something, but it'll be all right, we'll see. Um, it's standing up straight, which means it's healthy. We're going to help set this one up with the others. Oh, there you go. So, um, so yeah, that one's pretty cute too. I love this polka dot plant. You can either set it up like I'm doing with that stand, or you can just let them fall and they'll hang. Um, I do think I'll let them hang later, but I just love looking at this. And it was super tiny when I got it, like only three leaves. And look how many have grown. Of course, this is the back. But is that not crazy? But super cute. Love it. I just like, I like just seeing it grow. And you can actually take cuttings from that and propagate too. This one is, my husband loved it, so, and I do too. And it is a very, like I said, I wanted that super tough, hardy leaf. This is it. So, I mean, it feels, it feels like plastic almost, like hard plastic. And look, we got a new leaf right there, coming in that hadn't opened up. That was one, that's one thing I love though. It's just now starting. And one thing too, like when they're crowded, like I just pulled the bottom out, you don't want them to get folded as they're trying to come out because they might not make it and then they can get deformed. So I'm glad I kind of checked this one from the back because I just pulled that out. So it'll open quicker, but within a day or two, that's going to be completely open like the others. Just a little bit lighter color and then it'll darken up. But ain't it cute? I keep saying that, but if... Unless I tell you I don't like a plant, they're all cute. <laughs> um, all right. I just like the colors. On this one I got this one from Walmart they've got good stuff this is pretty cool it's got a really big root system and you see like these little rooty things on the back and I know you can actually the lady that I said that I was watching oh and it was 1896 <laughs> um, the lady that I was watching tried to propagate one of these and she said it was hard so if it's hard for her I don't know if I want to try it but I do like um, this one a lot just because of all like the zebra Type colors. Um, another, because I like the multicolors, is this one. This is like just ground covering. When I first got them, I'll tell you about my next plant too that I first got that's outside covering. And I don't know why they all feel like this, but I like if you could do like this, it was almost like crunchy, you know? So, of course, we got it under some grow lights in the beginning, repotted. This is actually two small plants in there, which you can see from the sides, but I thought it would fill out, which I hadn't yet, but I need to put a little bit more soil in there too. But um, it's grown a lot and it's soft now, so it's not crunchy. So I think it's pretty happy um, in here for sure. I mean, if you notice something's not looking good, you need to change it because um, it's not happy. I do have one more small one of this. Let me grab it and show you. And this one has stayed under the grow lights since I've had it, and I w it was mainly just for me to see the difference. And I think the difference I see is it doesn't have as much color. And it's just like very light. Well, there's like a little bit of purple tint, but mostly it's like a white light, 
but you can see, so this is, so these all three were the same, they look the same. Two put together, out, without, with not much light at all. And then this one was on a grow light. So I think I like the ones left out most because I like darker than lighter. But they're both pretty healthy. So I just, I'm, I like to note things like that just to see. But I'm happy with them. All right, so we have a local gas station that had some of these hanging. And I thought, oh, purple, let's get some color. Because, you know, I like green and green and green. <laughs> That's it. And green and white. And the same thing like with that other one, the outside coverage, which this is that same thing too. It was darker in color. It wasn't coming over the top. I just got this like a week ago. It wasn't coming over the top. And if I did this, it'd go all crunchy. So I went ahead and just like drenched it in water, drained it from the bottom so it wasn't sitting in water. Now it's lush and much better. I felt bad because like when I would try to look around, like it'd go and it'd break off pieces. I'm like, oh goodness. I just, I don't like having plants that I can't. Like if this is my, I told my husband, the reason like I'm getting, well not the reason I'm getting so many plants, but trying different options. If I think it's, like I want to see for one if it's hardy, you know, if I don't need as many as I have, but I want to propagate, you know, I want to make more and I want to give away stuff, you know, it's, it's just, it's nice. Um, it does take up a lot of room though, but I'll, I'll show you the room once we go through all, <laughs> all of our plants, I'll, I'll take you through and show you what I got. And I do think we need to move some stuff around. Um, but it is what it is right now and I like it, <laughs> but again, super lush since we got it watered, but I did get it from like a gas station and just like us, we need water. Okay. So that one's good. Here is one. I told you, I'd tell you if I didn't like something, I wanted something with color, but it doesn't like me. It don't like me. Um, it was, it was small starting out, so it has grown, um, and where I got it from, like, it didn't look good. So, Toby said that it's just, like, the leaves that were bad or dying, like, whatever, but I don't know if that's true. Like, this one's not good. Like, that one's gonna die and fall off. The tip of this one's dry. Like, I don't want a plant that doesn't look good. Like, even though it's pretty. I don't want it. <laughs> like, we'll see. We'll keep giving it. I'm going to give it the, the benefit of the doubt to see if those, once it grows up to the top and comes off. Um, but I don't think it's happy. I don't know if it wants more light. I did have it under the grow light and it didn't seem to make a difference. So I just got it over on my shelf. Got a bunch of indirect light, but that's it. But, so if you know about this plant, it's called Ruby something or Blood something, but and I'll post that too. Um, but if you know anything about it, help me out. <laughs> uh, everybody knows these ivy. Um, I remember growing up and we used to have like fake ivy around the house and stuff. That might be why I like greenery and ivy so much. They were bought from different places. Um, and I can't remember which one was from which. This one is fantastic. Big root system, all in the center together. This one, when I repotted it, awful. So scraggly, um, tons of cuttings, but some weren't even like making it. We're trying to get there. Like it's trying to look as full, but if you look at the roots, let's try to see. Don't drop it on its side. If you look at the roots, like they're all together there, and that's good. And like I said, this is things that I'm learning like when I propagated, don't spread them out. Put them together and put it in a small pot. And as they grow bigger roots, that's when you transplant them. Um, or repot, not transplant. And then if you look at this one, which I don't know if you can see. See how they're just, they're everywhere. And they're scraggly. And they look dry. I don't know. It's just, it's not as happy. Maybe it's as happy. Maybe I just don't like it as much like that. We find what we like. So I did take some cuttings from both. They had some long pieces on both of them. Took some cuttings. I'm gonna try to make a little something and maybe give it away. Okay, let me go get something out. Okay, so another one of our like $2 plants that we got from Lowe's that was awful. Got it off of the 
discount shelf for two dollars it was it was so bad i mean like even i don't even know how to explain it we had to cut this side off this side off my husband repotted it knowing now and this was like one of the first plants we got but knowing now i would have done something a little different sorry toby um just because i've watched a lot of videos on how to do it he did a good job but i do think i would have split the two if you can see there's two see where the gap is in the center and if you can see all those roots i'd have probably split them since they weren't happy because of the roots and then two different plants and hope for the best. But you know what, Toby might have did fine because we actually just had this open. Like it bloomed and those grew in since we've had it. So I'm, I'm happy. Um, again, it doesn't look as wonderful just because we've got, um, you know, like we've got cuts and we've got, you know, different coloring but this thing went through a lot so it's kind of it's kind of like people you know as we're growing like we've got these bad ones let me see where this go okay so this good one is coming from here like and that was a new one too but so this one was older you can grow good from bad if you take care of it so it's the same with people you know so don't always I'm not going to use this as like, you know, talking anybody up, but you know, don't always put people down because they've got a bad leaf. If it's a family member, if it's something they did in your life, whatever, help them work at it. You know, we gotta, we gotta help each other for sure. Be compassionate. Don't cut it off just because there's some things that aren't pretty. <laughs> oh, like this one. That's okay, but I'm pretty happy with this because, and I do, um, this is kind of what started me in the rehab part. So yeah. So now Toby knows at this time, it's like my talk of love. He'll like come back from the store with a plant. <laughs> I'm like, go to the store, honey, go get groceries. He comes back with a different plant. <laughs> but now he's like, you've got everything. But this was, this was one that he come back with and it was super small. Um, all of, just like the one we just talked about in the vines at the bottom, we're all showing um, the day we got it back, the next day there was a bunch of mold on really dark soil. So obviously it coming from the greenhouse or wherever it came from. Um, it just, not that it wasn't taken care of, but changing, you know, environments and all that stuff. So I went ahead and repotted it I put it in almost like a two times bigger pot. There are two plants in here, just like that one was. I said you could split them, but we've, I like it. I like this look together. Isn't it pretty? Giving us a little bit of color. There's new ones coming in. All these lighter small leaves are all new growth. All these bottom ones are new growth. I'm super happy. In one of the videos that I watched, another girl said that these are, if you're new into plants, do not get these because they're hard. They're not, if you learn about them, they're not too hard. You just got to learn. But I love the glossy leaves, too. And I am glad that they give us some color. And it's pretty. But everything, thankfully, almost everything that I've gotten has done better, besides that pink one I said I didn't like. And... Um, yeah, besides that one, all my plants I've gotten have gotten better than when I had them. So it's just doing a bunch of research and figuring out how to take care of them, how they need a water, what type of soil they need, um, that type of stuff. So I do recommend, like I said, to watch the lady, Amanda, from um, Plant Arena. She's awesome. I like rewatch her videos because I like them. So, all right. Oh, and with this, I'm going to call it Breed because it's the same type, type of plant, but different color. So up at our house was one of another arrangement from Toby's dad's funeral. Look at this thing. It was in the window that gets sun all day. It's huge. And it too, it had all of this. It had more tons of the viney stuff. Now, and I'll show you what I did with the viney stuff, but I took it out because this thing is gonna have to be cut to pieces. Like I'm gonna, once all this blooming dies, I'm going to 
propagate. I'm gonna cut and propagate because it's, it's unruly. You know, like where can you put this in a house? Plus like these, these um, leaves, Toby said I'm gonna have to throw them away, but cause this one looks, this one looks way better than it did, but it was, cause it was almost all yellow. He's like, you're gonna have to cut it off. I'm like, just leave it. But like this one, I think up at the house, you can see, ooh, crunchy. You can see it's got like, I think uh, Lindsay's dogs bit it. Like that's the only thing that I, I can think. But there's a bunch of damage to the leaves, but they're healthy. We're on the road to recovery. Um, I'm gonna let you look at the back because we actually did have to cut two off because they were dead. Um, but you see all these nodes. So what we're gonna be able to do later is to cut above the nodes, cut them off, stick them in water, grow some roots and plant them. And we'll have a bunch of babies from this. But I'm super happy because we even have, oh, let me show you. So this also had two plants. So I think when they put stuff together, they put two and two together. But if you can see this one right here, that's new growth coming in. That's gonna be a whole new, I would guess, it is coming out from this leaf. And usually if it's healthy and a leaf sprouts a spot on this type of plant, it's gonna have that. So we'll see, um, but if it's not healthy, not get enough light, it'll just be another leaf. So, but I keep having to back up because it's huge. But I have that just sitting by the door um, in this back room. So it just gets indirect sun, a little bit of morning sun. But it again is one of my father-in-law's arrangements that I'm just saving and making babies from. Okay, so the big plant that I just showed you that had all the viney things coming out, like the first arrangement from my father-in-law's funeral, um, I just, um, it, was, it was from these. I didn't know they had big root balls on them. I didn't know if they'd make it. I didn't even know if you could like, I, you could obviously transplant something with roots, right? If it's healthy enough. But I didn't know with cutting off this, Plus the inside, this is like the pieces that were in the center, and then these and these were all connected to these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there were ten long vines with long pieces on them in the centers, and then all these hangy things. So I thought, well, take them out, plant them up. Um, the, vine, the center pieces were too long. You couldn't do nothing with it. I was really worried. And if you know anything about this, let me know. But see how it's, I think it's supposed to be dark. But you see how it's starting to turn yellow? I don't know. I don't know about that. So I thought a couple days ago it was going to die. But then look at all the things sticking off of them. They didn't have that. So they, they are growing something. They're growing nothing from the top yet. I don't know, we're just gonna have to see. But you see all the green things coming from it? Poking out? I don't know if those are gonna be leaves or just, I don't know. We'll see, I'll keep you updated. I'll post about it. Again, nothing coming from the center, but just a lot of little vines. So I'm like letting it dry out some I think I'm gonna have to like let it dry out more now because I was worried about it at first um, being too dry but we'll see we'll see what it does so those two came from that big unruly one I stuck all these plus these in this thing so it was full it looked like a big flower thing hanging over oh and this was another one See, and it's got things coming from the side. So I just, it had a long root and it was curvy. So, so I stuck the root over here and just did it and hopefully we'll have another vine. Okay, sorry, I had to change for a new battery because it was flashing and the battery was dying. So again, we took all of those 
So those what's in there and these were all in there together. And then I just kept checking the roots. So let me pull one out. Okay. So it's like the pod or whatever. And then you can see all those little things that are going to start to, to come out. So those are nodes. And that's what if you submerge them in water and they grow long, that's what can be your roots. So, and that's also what will stick to something if it's going to grow um, as a vine. So what I did is I have these glass containers and as I'm not going to pull these out because I don't want to damage the roots and you see this leaf, I will think that that will die, but that's okay. It's just at the bottom. But can you see, let me try to find a way. Can you see these roots coming off of it? So they grow it different. So like those two pods were growing roots three. We're growing really fast. So I wanted to group them together because we need to plant them together with the same roots. Like I can't, we can't have ones that grow to be four inches and then some that hardly have anything yet. And we can't, we don't want them to grow like six or eight inches. We need to get them at certain speeds and sizes. So same with this one. I separated those today because of those sizes. And then it's so funny because even it's, it's like when they get the start is when they're like, they're going to explode. It's like they just, you have to check them every day because these will be the length of those probably tomorrow. They grow really fast once they start, which is pretty cool. Um, but just like the ones that I showed you these for, I thought, oh, some aren't gonna, you know, some aren't gonna make it. I need to change the water. I thought some aren't gonna make it, but they're all already today starting to grow some. But I do need to change the water. That might help it. Um, but yeah, I'll do that after a while. Oh, and I don't know about these. I thought if they're roots, the vine part, they're growing nodes. Why waste them was my thought. But look, can you see them? So we should be able to plant those. The only bad part is I'm going to have to try to remember. I guess bigger is on the bottom. So like we'll have to plant this down and have this angled up. So that's what grows up, I guess. Or could we lay it sideways? I don't know. We'll have to, I'll have to do some research on it. Of course, it's not ready yet. But they all are growing roots off of the nodes. I didn't know. I didn't want to waste them. So I thought, let's see what it does. I thought we could like do these if these end up working. But look at those. If you've done this before, comment and let me know. Because I don't know. All right, let me put these up. We'll get something else. All right, I said earlier that I went to our one place in our hometown because I wanted eucalyptus. Um, so I went and got eucalyptus. It's tiny. It was only about half this, well, probably two thirds of this size. So it's definitely grown. Um, but yeah, and I don't know, is this a different kind of eucalyptus or is that a weed? <laughs> it looks like, like the top is the same, but the leaves are just longer. Like maybe it's a different size. I mean a different, I say breed, a different kind. But here's eucalyptus. I'm gonna hope to grow them and I don't know what I'm going to have to do. Like, do they put shoots off of babies? Can I propagate? I don't know how to do that. But I'll look at it. Um, here's another thing I got because I thought it would be hardy. I felt bad for it, kind of. And I don't, I probably shouldn't have got it. It does look better. But you can see, like, the cuts and, like, cuts and stuff. And then after I got it home and repotted it, and I'm like those don't fall off and it doesn't grow higher and grow new something. So it's, it's never going to look better than that, you know? So it's just another one of my recovery plants, I think is the way that I'll look at it. It feels light. I think it needs water. I'll need to water some stuff tomorrow. It's not too, too bad. It's still a little moisture, but in, in the next day or two, I'll have to water a handful of these. Another one that I liked, just because of the different look is, 
I think it's called lamb's ear. If it ain't, it should be because it feels just like a lamb's ear. <laughs> and it's cute. I like it. And of course, I shouldn't be touching. I rub, I rub it all. I rub it. Um, all right, my sister got me this. It is, I don't know the name, but I'll put it up at top. Um, and it, they're, like, they're like little trees, little stalks in there. I do think I'm gonna have to propagate something because they're growing like big off of the stems. So we're gonna have to do something. I don't know yet what. Um, it is a succulent plant, so you have to be careful not to overwater. And it needs a lot of light, so it's under my grow light station, just hanging out. One of my next favorite is the cheese plant. Look at all those holes in it. Isn't that so cute? It was super small. Um, like, look at even these new things coming. New ones everywhere. I do have to keep checking to make sure. Like, when I got it... There was two of the, the leaves that were like fixing to open up that were through one of the holes of the other ones. So, and like getting all like hurt, like getting scars on them and stuff. So I, I just have to keep checking to make sure that they're not intertwined. Um, but I love this. I cannot wait until it gets bigger. It doesn't have to have a lot of light. Um, if you can look, it's a viney one that you can also that it's got nodes Let's see. Can you see? there we go can you see where that node is so it will connect to things too so you can like help attach it and it'll then attach itself i don't know if i want a bunch of longness from this though but when we've got some good growth coming off i am gonna cut and propagate and give and make more so I can have more. But I thought that was cute too. All right, let me go get something else. Something else I wanna show that I am propagating. So this is like viney parts of a plant that I was having a fit over trying to find. Like I was just gonna order some cuttings offline because I wanted it so bad. Then I gave up. So it's got the green on the front side, the purple on the back, so I'll show you my big plant. I have it sitting on my porch right now. And it's so crazy. So these have been in here for like five days. Within two days, they were already growing roots. Can you see all those little white things? I'm going to be able to plant this within a week of propagating. I am or putting it in the water. I'm so excited. But you can see even where the water's not. There's white things, so it's just the moisture. So I think this one is a super hardy plant too, and I'll show you outside. Um, it's big, really big, hanging down, beautiful. Thank you, Brittany. Um, my sister got it for me. She found it um, at the same place I got that little crunchy purple <laughs> hangy plant that I got that um, from one of the gas stations. They had gotten another order in and um, she got it for me and was trying to surprise me and my husband caught her putting it on my porch. But I'm super excited to make a bunch of little babies from this and have them around for me and gift them. But isn't it so pretty? And look at the vines, I mean the, the roots. Calla lilies. Um, here was a spotted calla lily from Lowe's that was on the shelf for like two dollars that was in such bad shape it did have a lot more that were yellow and dead and hanging and these were practically hanging over the side and Toby said let's get it you can rehab it <laughs> so it does look really good there has been a few times it's gotten a little fussy with me and Toby's like fix that but then he had to fix it so it I've got one of the probes that goes in and detects um, moisture and it's accurate a little, but it also is not fully accurate. Um, it said this had moisture on the bottom, but it was telling me visually that it needed water and I kept testing it and I told Toby it doesn't. He said, yes, it does. And then he watered it and it came back <laughs> some. So, you know, we're just learning each plant 
learning to now stick our finger in there and keep a dirty finger because of that. Here's another calla lily that we got. Um, already had some blooms. Um, there's another bloom down in there. I do know that it's tried to do a few more blooms and they died out. So something is making it not happy. Maybe there's not enough light. It is right under the window though, pretty close to the window, like it's on a shelf. So it's getting some of the most light that any of them. So I, I don't know if I'll want these inside next year. So like when they start dying out, I will plant the bulbs or keep it inside until next year because then there's going to be baby bulbs on it and kind of break them apart and plant them. So we'll have multiple. But yeah, calla lilies. Um, again, just pretty greenery stuff that can bloom. Um, okay, so something else. I have a few more succulent type to show you. String of hearts. This is not so cute. So when I first got it, it was just like, these were actually two separate ones in these little, 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 little tiny containers. Um, yeah, and just, and not even coming over the side. So I planted them together. Um, I'm trying not to worry about them too much now, as much as like every day I was spraying them, every day I was moving them around. There's a bloom, this one's never had a bloom. So that's a first. So I do think it's happy, it's got a lot of new growth. Um, from even when I moved it, but um, I've got, so here's this small one. Toby actually surprised me with getting two of those because again, I was having a fit of wanting the string of hearts, just like the bridal veil, the, the ones that my sister got me that I will show you that I took the cuttings from because I went and got this one and it was so sad. Like, it still is so sad. Like, I don't even know what to think about it because it's, I don't know. It's, it's doing better since I've had it, but I guess I've got to learn it more because like you can see these hearts that is showing it's dehydrated because it's kind of like curving. And then these hearts don't have a pointy tip on it. And then these hearts are tiny. That was already there. This was already there, but we're having new growth from there. Um, I took a bunch. I did cut a lot of these strings off that didn't have, that were just the little balls right here that didn't have any of the foliage on it. So I don't know. I've got a lot of learning to do about this, but if you look at, I'll have to zoom in for you. If you look at the top, it's bald. I, no offense, Toby. I don't like it. <laughs> I do like, <laughs> I don't like my plants to have ball tops. So um, I've got to figure out kind of what to do here. I don't know yet, but it's, I've got string of hearts. I don't want to like take them all apart yet and do cuttings from them, but I do think that we are improving. But that's why I was wanting to find the other two. Even after I found this, I was asking Toby, let's try to find a string of hearts. Let's try to find a string of hearts. And he um, went and got those two little ones for me and surprised me because that's all they had, too. Um, so now that we're talking about, as I put this down, um, a succulent um, hangy thing. This is called, this is I got from the same place as the one that was so sad with the ball top. This is called um, Necklace of Rubies, I think. Um, purple stem. And actually when I got it, all of the greenery was also purple, especially on top. And it can be that way, but that's when it doesn't have enough light. So we've improved it since then. It actually is very cool. Um, just to learn about these things and to watch it, like the plant will tell you, and again, it being a succulent, will tell you if it's not happy with, like there's some things, in, there's some little pieces in here that, oop, like that one, that's shriveled up. But it's, it's they, they need to be kind of fat and pudgy, 
um, for it to be happy. So you can kind of tell when it's getting wrinkles in it that um, you need to water it. And I just keep it where there is a little bit of morning light and then it gets also some shine off from our grow light station. All right, and one more. String of pearls. Um, also another succulent, hangy. This was a hanging plant, just like those other two. But I don't really like to hang plants because I don't want to put holes in the wall or ceiling to hang them. Um, so I just have gotten these from Walmart and put them in it pretty good. Um, but these are super, super happy. You can see the, um, I'll have to zoom in, but like here, can you see that um, bloom or whatever it's called? Um, and it's got seeds on it. You know, I need to look up and see if you can plant the seeds and make anything from it. Um, oh, and here too. You see there's two there. Um, but same thing with these, and I've actually, I'll show you in just a second, I've propagated some. I had another thing about trying to be like OCD about keeping stuff straight and together and looking the same, is I like to make all these go apart, and just like the string of hearts and stuff, I want it to, I don't want them like all gobbed up and stuff. So, um, yeah, just kind of make them straight, I don't want them tangled. Um, it has a, a sticky feeling texture to it, but I like it. But these things will actually, if the top start to like look shriveled a little, add some water to it, they'll plump right up. So that's good. It kind of tells you, I said it's sticky and there's dog fluff stuck to the bottom of that one because it's on the floor. Okay, so yeah, so that one looks pretty good too, um, but it's our last, like, hangy plant that I've got just in this stand that actually has done really, really well inside with not a whole lot of direct light. Look at this cute little rubber plant. So I've got a big one of these, just the plain green ones. Um, this one is variegated. I can't remember. It's called Rosie something, I think. But, um, is it not so cute? Now, the only thing is, is I have not repotted it, but I've looked at the bottom and it doesn't look like there's roots coming out. Um, but it's not had any growth and I've had it for three weeks to where my big one will grow this up, open a new leaf and grow again one a week. So I don't know if you know anything different, nothing's fallen. You know, the leaves are still attached. Nothing's turning dark or brown or anything. So if you know any different to help this grow, I mean, if it stays like this, I don't care, but I definitely think it might need something. I do think um, I need to um, fertilize everything because I haven't since I've had it all. So I need to fertilize stuff. Um, but yeah, and then here was since Oh, let me show you. Okay, so that is an orchid. I kept telling you that Toby had bought me orchids and I killed them. Um, or at least I thought I did. But then I also watched a guy talk about rehabbing orchids. Now this one was so beautiful. I just went ahead and bought it. And then how I'm watering it, I'm going to keep doing it, I think, for a while, is keeping it in this. Everything looks good inside. So I fill this up with water. Stick it in there, let it sit for 10 minutes, pull it out, drain the water, dump the water out and stick it back in. Um, so most of the roots are just, they're getting like soaked really fast and then, um, and then they're just out of the water. So we'll see. It's, it's still, I've had it for three weeks now and it looks good. I mean, there's nothing, nothing telling me it's not happy. So these were already, this one was already growing out and this one wasn't, but that means that it's growing. So if you know of a different watering way, let me know. So the rehab, I, when I got one that Toby gave me and I got my first um, succulent type one that I said that I put outside at like, with, it was like 40 or 50 degrees. Um, I also was moving it in the light. Well, I had a succulent that had almost dropped all of the blooms so I just 
had it in this and I did re had did have it repotted and I kept like sticking it outside. Well, if you can see like the texture isn't smooth, it did get sunburned. Um, all of it got sunburned. But so what I ended up doing is just cutting both stalks off, taking out, you know, breaking up everything, soaking it, breaking up everything. And then I do, I'm trying to do like rehab, like for the roots. So what I've done is I'll fill this up with water, let this sit in it for 24 hours, and then I leave it out for 48. And I keep doing that back and forth and it's done really well. This actually new growth in the center wasn't there before I started. So it must be happy. But you see like that new leaf coming? It's dark and I don't know if they start out dark. But it's definitely, it's growing like a quarter of an inch, like every other day. So I mean, it's, it's getting there, but I do feel bad because the leaves got sunburned and stuff. But I do think it's probably about time to pot it though, repot it, get some bark type stuff, and then do the same thing like I'm doing with that once a week. Just set it in there for 10 minutes, pull it out and see how they do. Again, if you know any better way to take care of orchids, let me know. Do, um, I've got this one in the window that has blooms, but I have this one that sits beside something under a grow light. So maybe it needs more. I don't know, tell me, tell me in the comments what you think. All right, so I thought this was super cute. I got this at Walmart. Um, they had a bunch of different kinds. This one looked the best. Um, I don't know exactly how to take care of this one, what I've been doing, and it's been doing good. When I first got it, it was super dry. If you bumped up against the leaves, they, the leaves would fall off. Oh, <laughs> like that one. So, but it was <laughs> a lot worse. I do think that was an older leaf. These darker leaves that have these lighter ones coming out. I don't know, but it would, a lot would do that. So I was like, just don't touch it, which I'm not supposed to be touching it anyways. But what I've done is, if you can see when I take it out, well, see, this is kind of what I'm explaining. There's roots in there, but it's not root bound, so it's happy. It's dropping soil everywhere. I was trying to pick this up. So you see the moisture on it? So that's what I've went by for this one to see if I need to water it or not, is just to, when I pick it up, if there's moisture, I leave it. And then when the moisture's not there is when I water it. And I do have this under a little grow light that, well, all of my grow lights, except for my propagation ones and the little tubes on the wall, I keep on during the day, but then turn off at night. Um, again, if you, oh, there's a bloom. I didn't even know. Oh my gosh, can you see it? So it's happy. <laughs> see, this is, this is what makes me happy, because like, you worry what you're doing is not right, or like, okay, we're just getting by. But there is a bloom. Oh my gosh. Well, you just got to see the excitement. That's what I talk to myself all day when Toby's not here, and to the dogs. Ain't that right, guys? That's exciting. There was like some dry ones and stuff when, um, oh, there's like two little bloom pods on there, on there. I'll have to zoom in to see if you can see it, if it can focus. But that is super exciting. That makes me happy. So there's my bonsai tree and it's cute. Okay, so these are the last ones that I'm gonna show you on the table. And then I'll walk around and show you a few that are too big in the cuttings that I have. Um, and then that's it <laughs> for now, hopefully. We actually, my husband just called and said that um, I'm actually I'm getting my mom something. And there's a place that has them, but they close at five, which is, it's for 25 right now. So he was gonna grab it for me. And I said, well, they're not, they're not, if they have a lot, they're not gonna sell them all right now. So let's go Monday. So we're gonna go Monday. Might pick up a few more things, but these are like the prayer, um, is this the, called the rattle? No, is it the rattlesnake plant? I'll put it at the top. Um, but yeah, so these, they open up a little bit bigger like this during the day. And then at night, 
They do like this, they close up like pray in motion. But I do love it. It's just, and then we've got, like where's my new ones coming out? Like they, you can see the lighter colored ones. It's kind of hard to see in the camera. But when they're rolled up, um, they're new ones that are coming through. Um, and then they are lighter and then they darken. But they're super pretty. Like there's a lot in there. Um, and it does take about once a week, I'll like get a wet paper towel and wipe them all down because it will get like a, um, I just don't like the leaves and stuff to look dusty. So it's kind of hard when you've got all these plants because it does take me like a couple hours to clean everything, to clean the plants off. Um, this one has not grown like I think I would have wanted it to. Um, it's just a different style. Super pretty. Um, I love the detail. I'll try to zoom in. Um, but the detail is super beautiful. But when I first got it, it was just all like this short at the bottom. And then all of a sudden it's got like this tall part in the back. And I've moved it. I've like changed, you know, different, um, like put it this way when the sun's this way. And it just, it's not really doing much different. I think it's just the, I don't know what it is. But um, I do like it, and it is beautiful, but I don't really like the form of it. So I'd like it just to sit against the wall like that, and it shows it's higher in the back, which is fine. Um, but they're not all perfect, which is okay. That's all right. I don't really have a spot showing for this anyways. I did have it in the living room, but I didn't think it was getting enough light. So I just brought it and set it on the table with this rattlesnake one. Just kind of like cousins hanging out together. So, all right, let me get the camera and we will move around and show you some other things that I got and propagations that I got going on and where I've got all these things set up. So here's another one that I just love because of the greenery. It will get really big. Um, this one just opened up and I'm super happy that it's got all the slits in it. And that is called something, I just can't think of it. But um, two, like if I wanted to propagate and you could take these two or together and they both kind of have slits. If I wanted to make more of those, that's what I would need to take to where it can kind of be less likely sometimes to get it from those, which they're in the same family so they can get there. But, um, and actually, this one was also from the ones with the slip. I don't know, but that one's beautiful. I just didn't want to move it because um, it's kind of decently big and I didn't want to situate it. But I do like that one a lot. And then here is also the same, just a few. This one just, it was so funny and I, I should have took pictures. You know, I wish I would have started video on this type of stuff a couple weeks ago. But this whole thing was down in this and shriveled up last week and it popped on out and grew and it's bigger than all the others and it's gorgeous so and it did have two other ones like this that when I got them it was damaged at the bottom so when I repotted it they were gonna die anyway so I did just pop them off again part of my OCD that it was a little brown and then here is my wall propagation. So let me pull this out of the way so we can explain. So the other ones that I have in the water over there, you can see these roots growing. Roots. This one I got from a store that it had a vine that was dead hanging on the bottom. So I asked them if I could have it. And they said yes. So hopefully I can grow something from that. Um, this is another leaf of that silver pothos that's growing a little root on it. Um, these are finally starting to grow roots. They weren't doing very good. Uh, same with all these. And it's so nice having them in the glass. These will be ready soon. Having it in the glass because you can see it. Um, and it's cute, but it's, you know, it's easy to, you know, to 
see over here and just put the lights against it and those stay on all night and they've done really well this is what i grew my other um ones that i've already planted that's what i've that's what i've started the roots in and they've done really good all right so here is another one of those that has more of the cuts and then the slits um and what I did, this was from Walmart for $24 or $26. And it was full, way fuller than this. Now, if you look, this is where somebody else had taken a cutting. And you see it growing out of this? A couple days ago, it wasn't doing that yet. Um, now, I did take, like there was a cutting where there was two and had a node. Same with back there. I'll show you in a second, but in my bedroom, I've got some... Um, that I've got propagating. So I hope to make a lot of more babies. So our, our idea is to not have as such full plants that are unruly, but to cut off the nodes and have big, tall, big leaves. So you've got to like cut from the big leaves to make more. This one, when I got the plant last week, was super, super flimsy, shriveled up. We thought it was going to probably die because you see it's got damage to it. But it's doing good. I'm proud of it. But I am super happy with this one. And here's a lot of the babies, and that's fine. And I might would like to make some of those, some babies out of those too. But I was going to give it a little bit of a break. I don't want to shock it too much by, cu by cutting too much off of it. Here is the other dark rubber plant. And the camera looks a little dark. But, um... It was growing super, super nice. This is exactly where I had it um, first. And it grew these two leaves, like one a week, and popped them out. And you can see right here how they start popping out, which was here. This is a new leaf that just popped out. But I moved this to the bathroom, which gets a lot of indirect light too, and had it in the corner of the bathroom. And once these two leaves had popped out, it just didn't, it didn't look the same and didn't grow the same as the other. You can see that, that middle leaf is short, that middle pink part. And last time the other two leaves come out, it was as big as that, which is the outside casing, but it was as big as that on the inside. So I didn't think that it was as happy in there. So I brought it back in here and we're going to try to get a jump start again, but I'm sure we probably just need to, um, fertilize everything too. So another propagation shelf that I have, these are empty because I had to, something that had gotten potted actually wasn't doing good so I put it back in water. This is that same one that I already showed you and that I already showed you but that's his light that I keep him under. But these are my other ones which I've already shown you this. Um, I showed you that. These are um, some propagations that I've made of succulents. A couple back there. I've already showed you this. This is kind of the same thing, just kind of a different setup. Propagations of stuff um, that I've just got set. This is actually a snake plant that I also had um, at Home Depot, they it was sitting in the trash. So I asked them if I could have it. I'm going to see if I can grow some roots on it. Now, it is one of the longest root growing, I think, for propagation. They said it could be months before roots grow. But we're going to try it. Why not? Um, same thing down here. I already showed all this stuff. It's just it stays under the light. Well, I didn't show that. But it's supposed to get full light. I'm not super happy with it. But... It can stay back there in the corner. Um, so yeah, that's the where I've got my lights and most propagation stuff. Oh, wait. So my silver pothos for these, silver something pothos, these I am growing some roots on. I'm pretty happy with those. These are, I did grow some roots on the, the string of pearls. I should have done way more than these starting out than these three strands. But because it was a string that just fell off. They have really good 
uh, roots and they're actually growing growth on that pretty happy. This is a strand that fell off of the um, ruby necklace. And what I did is I just put the strand, I like put the root in and wrapped it around. Well then every, every little node that it had, which they have a lot, as you can see, you see all these little prickly nodes. It was growing roots off of all of it. So I ended up having to cut them and then burying them down in there. And hopefully all these will start growing and I will give it to somebody who does not have that. Yep. There are some more little succulents that I've raised. Here's the cuttings from the um, ivy that I did. Now these are the string of hearts that I, that I did too. And I cut off all these little um, ball parts on the strands. And these were ones that were already growing roots, which I did this way, which this one isn't growing roots yet, but it's moss and I would keep it moisture or keep moisture in there, keep it wet. And then this one does have roots growing on all of those in there. And it's even got a little, let me see if I can zoom in. It's even got little babies. Oh, come on. Well, I'll zoom in right there. But if you can see, it's got little baby hearts coming off of that one. That was super excited. But there's tons of ones with roots growing. I know this is kind of a long thing. It's been like months now. But that's okay. Um, growing off of those, and I do plan to give one to my sister. But yeah, so, oh, and then the one that I told you I took a cutting from that had gotten mold on it, this is three cuttings from it, and they're all rooted in there and doing fantastic. So, and it's beautiful. I love that. Then I told you I took the cuttings. And these are it. So you, you, I say you raise them. You put them in water and you see that their growth points are there. That node's already there and it is actually starting to open up on the back. You just can't tell. This one already had a root. And if you can see the front is already sprouting more roots. And in the back, you see those roots coming off? Those had, they just started like yesterday. Making off little roots too. So you just make sure it gets enough indirect light. Um, and then you keep the water changed. This was rolled up yesterday and it's starting to open. It did have a bunch of scarring on it, sadly, before it was open. So it's not gonna be the prettiest leaf, but it'll do. Um, and of course it is a foggy glass. And these two don't have much, I guess I can open. See, that one's just got a little root. They say it doesn't make a difference with glass or, oh, you see the light colored is what's new. So that's good, that's grown in a couple days. They say it doesn't make a difference in the light. It's just you can, like in the glass part, other than colored, because you can just see them grow and it's kind of more satisfying because um, you're not supposed to pick them up out of the water all the time. So we will see, but here's five more of those that I'm super excited to make and either put in the house or give away. There's my handsome daddy in the hayfield. I love him. But yeah, so that is it. Last but not least, we've already shown this one in one of my videos, but um, snake plant. Like the one that I asked in Home Depot to have that leaf, this is what it should make. So it's supposed to clean your air, purify your air. Here is um, another, it's a lemon something. I'll post it. I'll post the name. But it's a hangy plant, viney plant. It's growing new stuff. This, I do not know the name of it. My husband just got me that at the grocery store at Ingalls. It's beautiful. 
And here is that plant I talked about that had such nice leaves that were like leather. And then I did some cuttings from it and I stuck them in this. So we will either stick those, once those cuttings grow roots, we'll either stick them back in here where it's a little um, bald, or we will just make a new one. So, but yeah, these, they were hanging almost to the bottom, but I just wanted to cut those off and that'll help promote more growth too. Now these are, once you cut them off where the node is, these will be attached to the node, you cut those off too. Um, like two leaves up and then stick both nodes down in the water and that's what will grow the roots. And I hate to see these beautiful things go to waste. They're like velvety leather and gorgeous. Oh, before I forget to talk about this one, I was going to show it in a minute, but this is some type of palm and it is gorgeous. It's had a lot of new growth since I've had it. Um, you don't have to water them as much because the trunks are so big um, and the roots are nice and the leaves are big, so it holds a lot of water. Um, but yeah, I love this thing. Super cute. Here's another just different colored um, from the one that I just showed you in the bathroom. It's a hanging plant, um, just real viney, but I love all these colors. Uh, and I've taken some cuttings from it and hoping to make some more too, but they are gorgeous. Here's also a hanging basket that I got that just had a lot of things in it. The only thing that I don't have in here um, inside is the spider plant. And it's also a hanging plant um, that grows little babies off of it. So at some point we can take those off and grow more. But I thought everything in this, I just love. It's beautiful. And then here is that bridal veil that I said that my sister had gotten me that I had taken the cuttings off of that had grown the roots so fast. But it is just gorgeous. And here's another hangy plant that I've had. It's an outside one. Thank you again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the link below. Comment on our videos. Let us know if there's anything we need to change. If we've got too many plants, maybe don't comment that so my husband doesn't see it. Um, but yeah, if we can do anything different to help our plants grow or do something that is better for them, just give us a comment. Also give us a thumbs up, share our page, but don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Have a great day.